This is where Somali refugees used to go. Perhaps you'll think this is Mogadishu, but this is a neighborhood in the Yemeni city of Aden. Until now, they've been granted residency cards and were able to do business. But that situation may be about to change. Refugees say they are being restricted to camps like this one, which used to be just a transitory place for most newcomers before they moved on to cities. We have had reports of restrictions on movements. Uh, we have had refugees coming and uh, complaining that it's not now easy, for example, to move from, uh, say, Kara sometimes, uh, they are checked more and also had cases of refugees being rounded up from Harad and brought back to, to Karas. Somali refugees know the reasons for the restrictions, but they feel strongly about this new development. When the Al Shabaab, for example, made the statement about their link with Al Qaeda in Yemen, we have had a lot of complaints from refugees very unhappy and they have even now they drafted a letter which they were sent uh, to complain or to assure the Yemen government that they are not involved in any subversive activities and they would like to have the Yemen government support them. Khara's camp is now as far as Somalis get, but the flow of refugees never stops. Tents and children and stories of escape in war and surviving dangerous voyages. I ran away from Somalia because Al-Shabaab came and tried to force me to go with them for jihad. I couldn't see my house for three years because it was besieged by fighters. I had to escape and leave Somalia. Life is never easy at the camp. It's a constant struggle against hunger and the elements. Food rations are distributed by charity organizations but complaints abound as to their sufficiency. Yet, despite those complaints, some refugees say they are forced to sell part of their rations to buy those badly needed non-food items such as clothes. Others need to buy more food items with whatever cash they have. Adequate food and shelter have always been a problem here. But there is a particularly new concern among Somali refugees. Increasing security and restriction measures by the Yemeni government Ever since the Shabaab in Somalia threatened to send their fighters across the Gulf of Aden to help Al Qaeda in Yemen. <laughs> Refugees say they already have enough troubles of their own with Al Qaeda adding to them. Mohammed Val, Al Jazeera, Aden, southern Yemen.